The last step in creating my simple Pure Data Android app is to connect the user interface switch to the Pure Data patch. Working within mainactivity.java, I'll head to the init GUI method that I created earlier. I'll delete the log statement and replace it with a variable called val that stores a boolean converted to a float. To convert the boolean, I'll use the ternary operator and just hard code the 1 and 0 values as floats. Next, I'll send a message to the on off receive in my pure data patch via pdbase's send float method by providing the name of the receive as the first argument and the value to send as the second. Remember that this is connected to an audio multiplication object in pure data, so you absolutely want to be careful as to what value you're sending to pure data. Now I'll build and run the project. I've already got the emulator running in the background. I'll tab over to it and interact with the switch. When I turn the switch on, I hear the sine wave. When I turn it off, the sine wave is muted. The last step in the development of our simple pure data app for Android is to test our application on a device. With Android, you need to look up the specific instructions for your device on how to enable developer mode. Additionally, you probably have to install device drivers if you're developing on a Windows machine. I'm using an Amazon Fire Phone, and I've already enabled developer mode. In Yosemite, all I need to do is plug my device into my computer, and it will show up as an available device in Android Studio. Now, I'll choose to build and run my project, and I'll select my Amazon Fire Phone from the running device list. This will build, deploy, and run my application on my device. As I interact with it, I can hear the simple sine wave produced by toggling the switch. And that brings us to the end of this series of tutorials on learning LivePD for Android. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about LivePD for Android and that this enables you to start making great interactive sound and music apps with Android and Pure Data. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rafael Hernandez. Thanks for watching this series and take care.